Hey, how the fuck are you, you bunch of filthy ingrates, galactic criminal here with another reaction. Uh, so I got another request for you from one Devin McGathy, I hope I said that right, from the YouTube comment section. He says, uh, probably not going to stick out much here. Well, you certainly did. <laughs> I wanted to recommend a Swedish death metal band. The band's called Death Chain. The song is called Seven Asaku Shadows. That's a pretty interesting uh, song name for a Swedish death metal band. Don't know really what I'm getting into here. I haven't uh, actually listened to a death metal song yet on this channel. Uh, this might be my first one. I, can't, I don't recall that I have, but... Uh... So here's hoping this thing isn't a big old floppy piece of poop. With a one, a two, a... It is quiet. I do not like quiet. Okay. They don't really go out of my way anymore to listen to a lot of metal like this. Mostly just because you miss a lot of the nuances of the song in the in the blend of everything. This band definitely has some uh, some different changes. They're not just you know keeping that that pace from the beginning all the way through. This guy's definitely got a Lenny Killmeister look to him. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the first person to fucking say that. I wonder if his fucking drumsticks ever get stuck in his hair when he's... <laughs> Definitely death metal. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I like that. They use that uh, that really fast-paced section to kind of go you know, like create almost like a climax to the song into this like solo portion. And you see, he's not just fucking trying to go as fast as he possibly fucking can. There's actually some sort of uh, rhythm and planning behind the solo. I definitely think this band could benefit from uh, the singer actually singing uh, bits, and uh, bits and pieces, at least, of the song. To kind of to mix it up, you know. Let's see how they polish it off. It's a cool breakdown.
That's a cool effect. I think it's lasting too long though. Yeah, so you know more or less what I expected. Uh, it's not bad at all. <laughs> I do kind of want to touch on a point again, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the singing for the band. I always think like a mixture for the singing should really be there, you know, just like I think, you know, keeping like the loudest, heaviest beat and, you know, the loudest, heaviest guitar just flat across the whole board through a whole song. It's just, it's too much and it gets boring. This song didn't do that. It definitely mixed it up. There was a lot of really cool changes in there. But uh, the singing still is what kind of is what kind of makes it like a band that I probably wouldn't go back and listen to, uh, not very often anyway. Just because like somebody just yelling in your face the whole song, it just it kind of just drones out, and like the the effect of the screaming really just doesn't uh, it doesn't take hold as much as they think it might. You know, I think you know people who like this genre of music and this genre of music only obviously would love this band. But me personally, and like the uh, the different kind of music that I listen to. I like a little bit more variety in a song. So that's really all I'm saying is that maybe singing a little bit different or having a different member of the band sing a different portion of the song would have been pretty interesting. But you know, this is their style choice. This is the way that they choose to perform their music. And I'm really no one to say what they should and shouldn't do. Just personally, for my opinion, what I would do if I was in that position. You know, especially over like the somewhat slower portions to have some kind of, uh, some kind of different vocal over top of that even just like a background vocal yeah and I'm really uh, I'm really glad that they didn't continue with the uh, the pacing that they had from the beginning like I said they didn't just they didn't really use like the, the the solid heavy bass and guitar just all the way through the whole thing they mixed it up a little bit I do though feel like the way that this song started there's a lot of bands that sound just like that that style and just like everyone's doing something like really technical and really loud and fast at the same time and you know if you saw this band live all of that stuff would just come out as a wash of noise especially if you're close to uh, one of the speakers you know being at like a local show or something and especially in a smaller venue you're not gonna get all those nuances you see the guy and uh, like doing like crazy fingering on that guitar but you're not gonna hear that you're just gonna hear like the wash of distortion coming from uh, from the amplifiers so yeah, it just I feel like uh, like moderation in noise is probably a very important thing, and not everyone has to be doing something super technical all at the same time. And uh, the solo, I really enjoyed the solo. Like I said before, uh, a lot of bands, especially bands that like to play fast and loud, will just will go for that really really fast, you know, scale riffing and stuff like that. And it's cool, it really is. But when you have like a really nuanced uh, solo, something that's really thought through, and not something that's just trying to you know show off how fast you are and yeah, I think it actually shows more talent in that aspect. So yeah, thanks again, Devin, for that request. It was actually a pretty decent song. I was uh, I was pleasantly surprised. For coming from a band called Death Chain, I was expecting certainly something different. Like fucking face paint. Ha! <laughs> so yeah, if you know of any punk bands, metal bands that you'd like me to take a look at, they got a music video, put a link in the description, or just the name and the uh, name of the band and song in the description. You can also send a link to uh, my Twitter, my Facebook. Of course, as always, I will put a link in the description for this video, so you can go and watch it for yourself full screen full audio, and you got the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.